Chris and Marie, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we are, all of us, as friends and family, taking joy in that with you in celebration for what God has done. Marriage is more than your love for each other. In marriage, you're placed at a post of responsibility toward the world and to mankind. Your love is your own private possession, but marriage is more than something personal. It's a status. It's an office. It's not your love that sustains the marriage, but from now on, it's the marriage that sustains your love. How is that? Because it's the story. It's the story of his marriage that will be the story that sustains yours. And that's what my final word to you is this, stay near the story. Marie, I choose you to be my wife. It was the spring of our love almost 31 years ago. When you walk through the doors of the American Legion Hall, a new face at our Pentecostal Trailer Park Youth Group, I still remember the first moment our gazes met and held one another in a deeply captivated yet strangely familiar pause. After doing a little intel through Jason Steele and making certain you did indeed like me, I first asked you to be my something. It could have been the deep brown mystical almonds I gazed into the first time our lips touched and our hearts sang together for the first time. It could be your gorgeous, goofy, curled lip smile warming me to my core the first time you made me laugh. It could be your faithfulness, gentle kindness, or our shared faith. But I still felt there was something more I couldn't name. When our paths crossed the second time, it was a short summer later in the story of our love. We were only a little older, more certain, and a bit more broken, but not yet seasoned by the winters which would follow. And did those winters ever come for both of us? We spent what feels like a lifetime wandering the world without one another, each of us finding the rhythms of our lives and travels, yet not fully finding our deepest longing. Meister Eckhart once said, there is nothing in the world that resembles God so much as silence. It is exactly within this silence and solitude that would provide our eternal homecoming this autumn where we stand right now, my love. Like two lonely deer wandering a winter forest in solitude, we fell into one another first as friends last February. And I finally found what that missing something was. It was my Anamkara. It was you, Marie. Your stunning natural beauty is all I have ever thirsted for in a woman and companion. Your beautiful olive skin, endless brown curls, and the softest skin defines feminine beauty for me. You have always been my type. Your quick wit and childlike ability to playfully put your foot in your mouth can light up the darkest room of ugliness. Your humor cuts through my somber, analytical, jaded mind. Our shared comedic banter is the only cure to find in one another a taste of the whimsical, freewheeling playfulness of our youth. You're my muse. Our conversations never cease to feed my insatiable curiosity to see all of the world of ideas with a partner in crime. Time stands still when we talk, bestie. You amuse me like no one I have ever known and ever will know. Our hearts are simpatico and uh, playfulness together and the cast of strays we've collected both new and old has already created the perfect cast for my favorite true crime comedy I never want us to end we'll never survive they told us Marie like Wesley and Buttercup entering the fire swamp 
There's too many fire spurts. We both have too many baggage of unusual size. Well, here we are, sweetheart, on the other side of the fire swamp together. I look forward to fighting off every giant, fiercely jousting every Spaniard who stands in our way, and winning every last battle of wits to make certain I always return home to my Principe Safari. I look forward to the adventure of our life together. Now that we are one, may we go closer to another as we grow closer to him. I choose your Marie. You're my best friend. Chris, I choose you to be my husband. I chose you to be in my life when we were young teens. After what feels like a lifetime, and sometimes like yesterday, here we are, my friend. I wouldn't have it any other way. Sometimes things will not be so easy and smooth. We will have disagreements and fights. I am up for the challenge. I want to look into your beautiful blue eyes for the rest of my life. You are the smartest person I have ever met. I know if I didn't want to, I'd never have to read a book again. You aren't only an intellectual, you're emotionally intelligent as well. You look inward and take accountability for your actions. We never run out of things to talk about. We never stop laughing. We never stop trolling each other and the world. You are so fiercely loyal. You are so sentimental. You are so brave. You have the most loving heart and you are my best friend. Lastly, and most importantly, we share our faith in Jesus Christ. We both know we put him first in our relationship. Your faith in him continually blows me away. I look forward to each day God gives us one more day that we can worship and praise him together. Chris, I choose you. By virtue of the authority committed unto me by the Presbyterian Church in America and the laws of the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. <laughs> what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Chris, you may kiss your bride.
Thank you all.